That's for my new hollow grinding jig. I did have a hollow grinding jig that I built very quickly in about an hour or two just with some scrap material. Use some hot rolled steel plate that I had in scrap and some aluminum angle in scrap. I've done about uh, at least 10, maybe almost 15 hollow grinds on it or knives on it. And they've come out nice. I decided that I'm going to upgrade it and use the cold rolled steel instead of the hot rolled just because it give it smoother operation and I'm going to beef up these uh, angles right up here which are these two angles that sandwich it from that eighth inch aluminum in the one I have on the video to a quarter inch steel. I'm going to go ahead and go with steel just regular steel on these at first see how that works out if it doesn't work out then I'll probably have to go to or try to go to stainless steel see if that makes any difference the thing that I didn't like about the aluminum is mostly it's uh, it binds up just a little bit because it seems to be soft so it binds up just a little bit as I'm passing the blade through kind of grabs the blade and then uh, because it's an eighth of an inch in the video you can see that this leg here is bending a little bit which causes the blade to not sit completely square in that trough which then changes the angle that the blade touches the sanding wheel and then you get a different hollow grind then or you don't get the shape that you quite want so I really have to watch that and keep that bent back up so these are this new one will address those issues there this is how it's gonna look these uh, three pieces will be combined together. They'll be bolted through here. They'll be bolted through this plate. This plate to make a little, I don't know, dovetail-looking thing. And then this will be the base plate. So this dark will slide inside the hatched area. This is the base plate. This this upper one here is this plate here it will have a cutout right there for the two inch sanding wheel to go into two inch width and then these will sit on top right there this will go next underneath it's gonna be that piece right there then this piece here will go on the bottom be that piece and they'll all bolt together These angles will be have the vertical leg sticking up in this area here to provide a 90 degree surface for the blade to press up against, a fixed surface for the blade to press, press up against. And then we'll bring the wheel in there against that fixed edge. This angle here will sit on the back with the vertical leg coming up here and the leg with the slots going down there. And we can slide back and forth for different blade width and uh, sandwich the blade up against these vertical fixed points. Over here, this is the bottom piece. This is the bottom plate. And these are the side spacer plates. They're gonna be right there. I actually don't have these drawn yet. That's just gonna be a half inch by one inch by six inch long plate so it'll be twice as wide as those and have the same hole pattern <clears throat> and then there will be on the bottom of that will be fixed a uh, mounting system of some kind to mount it to the machine these uh, this one and this one are going to be the push and pull adjustment system I'll come down here I have it kind of assembled this is the sander wheel. It's a 10 inch wheel. These are those push and pull system here. These two angles here. They'll get, be down inside. Sliding back and forth with this screw attachment. There's that. This will be threaded so as that screws it'll push this upper plate out. Which brings it closer into the wheel or it'll pull it back. Takes it away from the wheel. 
how to lift these this will be the sliding uh, one the sliding angle this will be these will be the two fixed angles out here and then the wheel will pass in between those and the cutout that's in this plate here this here is a is the spacer that will allow the wheel to come in but still provide an area for the blade to ride on as it's going back and forth through there you can control because I've tried it without this on there and it just doesn't uh, you don't get as good a result the blade tends to fall down into the groove that's because this groove is actually let me draw it here the cutout you know is actually back into that area and so when you drop your tip in sometimes your tip can come way down here if you're not careful and so the thing is you really this will control so that your cutting edge of your blade doesn't go any lower than this and you get a good uniform grind and that way you don't get a high grind on one side you know and maybe you didn't drop the tip in as far on the other side and you get a you know a low grind on the other side so that's what those spacers are for and I've got I'm gonna build four of them they're gonna be preset for their um, let me get rid of that line there they're gonna be preset so these holes are going to be different distances from this edge and that'll set for their thickness see that one's gonna be 1.094 this one's gonna be um, 1.65 so what these are this is going to be a 3 30 seconds a thin piece of steel it's going to be a 5 30 seconds a 3 16 and a quarter and if I run into any other thicknesses that I might need <clears throat> like a 1 8 I'll do a 1 8 one in there I didn't think about that one until just now I'll do a 1 8 inch thick one in there and so it'll fit in between these two and that way I'll just drop those down over I'll have studs coming out here in the, in the slotted angle and I'll just drop those down over there and they'll immediately set the distance and then I'll just slide this top angle in to clamp against the, the 316 stock or whatever the thickness of the stock is that's in there tighten those screws down there right there and it'll be ready to go and you just make passes from the left and the right you know, you get both sides of the blade and then you make adjustments in as it's shown in the video anyway this will be a December project I'm overseas so when I get this done I'll probably be doing a giveaway of my old hollow grinding jig if someone might be interested in that keep an eye out uh, probably later in December I'll be giving that thing away.